All right, hello everybody. Uh, today we're going to be finishing up the review on this Vision Tech Drive Expander. Um, if you haven't seen my first video, go back and watch it. I do a, a breakdown of the specs, um, use case scenarios, things like that in that video. Uh, basically what this is, is a PCI Express slot hot swap cage. So, um, there, there's actually no PCI Express connector. It just sits in a PCI empty PCI Express slot. Um, however, you can put a two and a half inch hard drive in here. Shut it. You can lock it from the back and be good to go with the start backing up or keep it as your main drive. However you want to use this. Uh, that was my original idea was to uh, get a couple of these put in the back of my case on some empty slots and not use a, uh, a hard drive cage, the normal hard drive cage in the front of my computer, which I have removed because of uh, radiators. Uh, however, I've found myself using this actually more for um, hot swap, uh, for backing up files and uh, transfers and the such. Um, really, really handy device. Um, like I said, you can... Uh, a lot of use case scenarios for this. Most hot, hot swap cages that I've found uh, mount in the front of the case, uh, which is obvious if somebody wanted to uh, steal your information, then they're going to look at the front of the case, so you got to have a backup uh, hot swap area, uh, see if there's anything in it. Of course, they're usually locked. But chances are they're not going to look in the back. You go to a LAN party or whatever, this is perfect. Or like me, just uh, just to free up the front of your cage of your case, then this is perfect. Um, I've tried really hard to find some gripes. Um, about the only thing I can think of to gripe about, and these are very minor. They don't affect the device at all. Um, they give you a plastic piece to put in the PCI slot, and it works okay. Um, it's made for a small PCI Express slot. However, when you put it in there, this is about where it mounts. So it doesn't give it a lot of support. It doesn't, I mean, it's, the hard drives aren't heavy enough to really affect it. However, I wish they gave one about twice the size so that you could put it in an eight time slot and it would actually come back to here and you would actually have plenty of support. Not a big deal. I, I didn't, um, there's a little bit of flop when it's mounted, but nothing major. Uh, nothing that would affect the performance or anything. I felt completely confident with it installed. Um, the other thing... Okay, the other thing is I really wish that this connector here would be tied in at the board level. Instead of having an extra wire that runs out and has to connect over here, if it was tied in at the board level, then you wouldn't have this wire. It'd look a lot cleaner in the case, I think. Um, maybe some braided cables would be nice, but uh, not picky there. I end up doing my own braiding with my own colors anyway, so not a big deal. Again, just nitpicking. They're, uh, this is a great great little device if anybody is in the market for anything like this I highly recommend it um, there's actually a few of them out there this one is by Vision Tech um, again highly recommend it if you have any questions comments anything like that leave it down below you can always find me on Twitter at Arstron and uh, if you like this video feel free to subscribe I plan on trying to do a few more um, it's just kind of a hobby for me, so don't won't be doing a flooding your channel with a whole lot. But thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoy it.